everyone, my name is David, and welcome back to another video. And today, I am not talking quite as loud as I usually am, just because there's a person, uh, outside her house, specifically close to outside my room currently, because there are construction people doing things construction people do around our area right now, but it's not currently loud and noisy, and I felt like taking advantage of this time to record, because I kind of want to record and you know, not upload once a month. That's not exactly what I'd like to do. Uh, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm currently placing pickles all around on the ground. Why? Because, well, you just saw that drone just attacked me, and I don't want that to keep happening. Sea pickles were a very grand addition to Minecraft, in my opinion. I mean, they look nice, they glow underwater, they look nice. <laughs> but anyways, pickles are not the only thing I have planned for today's episode. First of all, I did swatch out, or er, swatch... The first of which I switched out the stream lights for the sea lanterns, and honestly, the sea lanterns, in their nature of being bright lights, do definitely stand out more than the light colors here, even though they're both bright. But honestly, that's fine. I feel like it does fit better with the place, and it looks very nice. Oh, and by the way, when I was placing these in, I just realized for the first time, like, very faintly, like, they're... There is an animation in this sea lantern. Like, do you see that? It's like... It's like pulsing. Is that, is that the right word? I don't know, but it's just like, it's glowing, and I feel like you could watch, like, like put relaxing music behind this or something, and just, like, have a live stream staring at the light. <laughs> it's a bit off topic, but it's nice. Anywho, this video is not just about relaxing and enjoying some calming music while staring at sea lanterns. No, we want to get things done. Like, say, work on the elk shop, finally. Except, oh wait, we can't do that, because Elick is currently grounded, and who knows when he'll get his phone back. But most likely, it won't be in enough time before this episode is done, so, uh... I swear, this place has been on hold for ages, but, like, there, there's not a lot I can do, okay? There's not a lot I can do. If Elick is grounded and cannot help me construct this thing, and he specifically asked me to let him help me finish this thing, because it's obviously going to be still partially his shop, then, uh, I'm not just gonna go behind his bag and work on it anyways. But then that begs the question, well, what else will we do today? And that is a very good question. But I have a few ideas of things I want to do. As in, I have a few ideas other than just getting the pickles everywhere, which admittedly getting the pickles everywhere was one of the main things I wanted to do today, which I've mostly accomplished. I kind of want to go down along this farther, but currently in the main vicinity surrounding my base area, there are pickles everywhere, which is wonderful. But one of the other main things I want to do is potentially build, like, a new structure somewhere nearby my house area. I'm not quite sure where. It could be around this main lake area, or over here, or over here. I'm not really sure what I want to do quite yet, but I know that I want to get some sort of, like, a greenhouse or something where I can put a lot of my crops, like the, uh, I was about to say potatoes, but no, the potatoes are over there. Uh, but like the pumpkins and the melons and stuff, and just like some of the sugar cane, because look at this, this is kind of very messy, like it's necessary for the villagers and stuff, so I can actually, uh, get good things. Um, but you know, like, I, I want to have a greenhouse of sorts, just because that way I can store everything properly, and it'll like look nice, and it'll just kind of add more to the area. You know? I just think it's a good idea. I've been working on a design and creative. I'm not sure if I'll do a time lapse or not. I'm planning on, like, mostly winging it. I'm actually mainly just trying to get the block pallets, really. And are you kidding me? I didn't get anything from that enderman. I just wasted my time trying to look cool here and maybe get an ender pearl while just, like, not caring about this enderman brutally murdering me. But okay, then that's fine. Whatever. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I want to make a greenhouse. Uh, I don't know exactly what greenhouses look like. So I've, I've been looking stuff up on the Google images to help me out with that. I mean, I like I have an idea in my head, but I don't think I've actually seen a greenhouse like around me much in real life. So yeah, I'm, I want to work on that sometime. I mean, first I need to check to make sure I have all the materials and stuff. It, it's going to be a whole thing, but hopefully I can work on that, maybe get it done, Maybe actually, like, get it done, as in, like, not just the exterior. <laughs> that's really what I say when I mean, like, getting something done. It's just finishing the exterior. But that's not quite accurate, because usually when you hear the word done, you think finished. But that's not finished. 
All right, so we just jumped into my test world now, just because, you know, I was coming up with the design, and this is something I came up with. I spent, like, two hours on this thing, like, figuring stuff out, and just, like, getting the size of the thing correctly and stuff, and figuring out the blocks I wanted to use, because I kind of initially wanted to have, like, a tent sort of shape, but, like, a biggish tent, and just one that was kind of like its own structure, if that makes any sense. And I'm not showing it off very well, but I wanted to have a lot of glass in the thing. And, by the way, I've decided to completely scrap this design. I just decided to leave it in the test world, because it's something that I made. And when I came in here, I was just like, this doesn't feel very good. It doesn't feel like a pleasant atmosphere. So I've decided to scrap this whole thing and work on a new design. I just figured I'd show you what my original ideal was gonna be before I bring you back into the regular world, because I just feel like, you know, I want my effort here that I put into this thing to be acknowledged, so I'm acknowledging it. But acknowledgements are done now, let's just get back to the actual thing here, and I've ended up creating a sort of circular shape, this is not the final block palette by the way, I just figured I would place it on the ground and grass just to see if it looks okay, and I did end up shrinking the design a little bit because it didn't fit very well right here, because I was initially kind of hoping to put it out in the sea, but then I figured, considering the size of the actual structure that you can kind of see right here, it kind of blends in with the grass now, maybe I should have used, like, cobblestone or something, but it basically goes around in a circular-ish, slightly oval shape, and I originally wanted to have it out in the sea, that was kind of my top choice, but then I figured that probably wouldn't fit out there and look nice, so I decided to plop it over here instead. And I also would like to eventually, maybe once this is done, like, uh, connect this up more with the actual base and create, like, a pathway of sorts. I think that would be fun. And just other decoration things. Oh yeah, by the way, the people that are working on our house are still here. Unfortunately, they have things to finish up. But it's Sunday today, I wanted to record, so I'm recording, and I already said this a different time, didn't I? But basically, I want to replace this right here with, uh, quartz bricks, which was definitely a mistake to use as the main non-glass part of the building. I mean, it's a really pretty block, but I forgot how expensive that stuff is to make. Because look, I have two stacks in this chest here, and I've realized that, like, to make a single stack of quartz blocks, you need four stacks of the nether quartz, right? So that gets you a stack of that. What I didn't realize is that when going into the crafting of things, when you're crafting things in here, to get a stack of the quartz block, you need four stacks of the regular quartz blocks. Meaning that, effectively, to get a stack of quartz bricks, you need 14 stacks of the nether quartz, like regular, yeah, regular nether quartz. You need 14 stacks of that to get a single stack of the quartz bricks. But I already have two stacks of it now, and I probably, hopefully, won't need too much more than that. So I'm gonna have to do a little more grinding on the nether quartz in the nether, which is fine. It's just a sort of tedious thing to do, and I don't really want to do it that much, <laughs> but I kind of have to now if I want to use the pretty nether quartz block. Plus, I don't use it that much, and I want to I wanna use blocks I don't normally use, you know? Because they're fun to use. Uh... But boy, do I have some work ahead of me, because I also am going to want to do a little bit of terraforming over here. Because the actual design that I want to do for this thing, uh, wouldn't really work too well to be elevated, so... Uh, I'll see you in, uh, a little while. It, it, it's it's going to be another few hours, probably. Maybe days. I don't know. Hopefully not days. We'll see. Let's just cut to when I'm done. Just kidding, I'm not skipping until this place is just completely done or something. <laughs> no, that would be kind of ridiculous, because I mean... How would I have content that way? That's just not how it goes. So uh, here's a little progress update. I have put in the quartz brick stuff. It looks very nice. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I did for now. I guess I did a bit of terraforming, just, just a smidgen around the sides of the place. And I may need to get rid of the flowers. Well, maybe I'll keep... I, I, I don't know for sure exactly how it's going to look inside yet. However, I have fully planned out the exterior. I think it looks nice. I need to go get some glass. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so jumping back in real quick. As you can see, I have finished the quartz bricks outline. Yay, woo, fun times. And I didn't really want to cut in here. I wanted to just finish the whole thing, have a grand last cut there, and, like, have the glass in. However, one of my IRL friends pointed out to me that, uh, there's a much more efficient way of getting the quartz bricks. And by that I mean, it turns out, 
in the stone cutter thing. I don't have anything on me right now, but if you put in the regular quartz blocks there, you can craft a single quartz block into a single quartz brick, which is a lot less expensive, like, embarrassingly less expensive, as in, I wasted a lot of my time that I didn't have to waste, kind of expensive. So that's highly embarrassing, and I figured you would like to revel in my, uh, unintelligence, because, you know, people like to do that. <laughs> I really don't, what am I saying? Anywho, on to the next clip. Okay, well I've kind of run out of transition things to say or do or whatever, so... Okay, basically, this is the finished product. I decided to make the glass part, which is like the main thing of everything purple. Uh, there isn't any sort of interior thing or door or anything right now, other than like the flowers that already happen to exist in here. But yeah, this is the place. I think it's nice. Admittedly, the ceiling could have been made a tiny bit higher, but I think it's fine as it is. I think it's a cool sort of like circular ovalish shape. I like it. It kind of fits in with the theme of like organic looking shapes and like just that sort of stuff really within this area. And I think it's pretty nice. Really, if you like removed the glass and made say like the main color scheme of this thing like a grayish color, this could definitely be Seeker Bunker. Either that, or if you made it brown and, like, removed the entrance bit and put a stick thing on top, it could be Patrick's house. Honestly, this place could be anything, because it's kind of a symbolish design, and I think that's pretty nice. I, 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 I really like that. <laughs> but as I said, there's no interior in here. But that's fine, because we will be working on that later. Yes, later, not right now, because Sam wanted me to get him some dripstone and cobble deep slate, and as you can see, I don't have very much of either of those. So I'm gonna have to go underground and collect some for him. He was like, no, 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 it's fine, you don't have to, I can get it myself. But he mentioned payment uh, initially, so I was like, oh. Honey, it's, it, it's, not, it, it's not a hassle for me if I'm getting paid, okay? Especially because I have very few diamonds left. Like, uh, this is not sustainable. But the reason Sam really needs these things is because he's gonna work on a third version of his mega base on the server. The first two didn't work out, so he's gonna build something new and he has to build it like somewhere on this mountain over here and oh my gosh, the madman has started already. Okay, hold up, I, I, need to, I need to go over there and see this quick, hang on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sam. You- This was not here earlier today! You just- Oh my goodness. See, this is like the right person to have as my neighbor. Something's gonna just be ch It's it, This is probably gonna like stay like this for a week or something. And then just one day, it's just gonna be like, done. Like, I feel like that's the kind of person Sam is, where he just finishes everything, like, all in one go. Which I, I truly respect that. I was just not expecting to see this yet at all. <laughs> you just asked me for the materials, dude. Oh my goodness, everyone. Sorry, I just need to come in quick here and record this. I've just been gathering some uh, cobble deep slate here to go and give for s give, gi give to the Samuel. Look at this! A diamond! Just in the deep- Oh, it's more than one, oh my gosh. Diamonds in the deep slate? I wasn't expecting to find this here, like, at all. Like, I was literally just listening to music, mining away, just being do 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 diamond just <laughs> i was not ready for this but i am now ready to document it and hopefully this like there isn't lava behind here or something that'd be very unfortunate i would not like to see lava behind here but i just wanted to record this because i diamonds like i'm every diamond is significant for me because i am very poor you know so here's one diamonds low lag okay two diamonds and three diamonds. Oh, yes. Three diamonds gives me seven diamonds. Yay! That'll increase my numbers, and that is very good. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... I'll, I'll just come back when I'm done. This really isn't very entertaining, but it is necessary. I... I want currency, okay? So I finished gathering all of the materials for Sam, and as you can see outside my window, he's been a little busy. Just a, just a little bit, just just a wee little bit. He's only been doing a few things around there, but boy does it look cool. <laughs> However, I do think I'm going to give the materials and things to him in a special package next episode, just because, you know, it's been a while since I last uploaded, as it's been recently. Honestly, I've been prioritizing quality over quantity of videos, 
which just, in my opinion, just means putting more time and effort into things and just getting more things done in an episode. And considering school is definitely taking up a lot of my time now, that just takes a while, you know? Like, I'd love to upload more, but honestly, thinking back to, like, Endercraft Season 4 and stuff and the ones prior, back when I was uploading a lot more weekly, a lot of my time was spent really in just in filler things, aka me looking at what other people have been doing. But I don't really want my main content to be doing that. I want it to be working on things, either that or just do actually, you know, doing things with the other people. Not just looking at what they've done, but actually interacting with them and having fun. I like doing that for my videos, but that's hard to organize and it takes time to edit those things, like, more than usual. So, hence, I haven't been uploading as much. So as much as I'd like to do more things this episode, I do want to upload, eventually. I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself here, basically. But I appreciate your patience with me, everyone. I do appreciate it. After all, I did do some things today, you know? I got the pickles around everywhere, and unfortunately, Elik is still grounded. I actually checked up on him yesterday because we're friends in Minecraft, and he was just on a world, and I decided to just randomly join because, you know, we're best buds like that. I can just do that. Thankfully, he wasn't like, get out of here, David. No. I don't think he'd be like that, but <laughs> but yeah, he's still grounded, so again, the shop is still being put on hold, which, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's literally just sitting there, but oh well. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. We're gonna go play the bloopers and things where I made mistakes now. Hope you enjoy those. I'm not gonna announce the bloopers anymore after this, by the way, I'm just gonna play them after doing my goodbye thing. I just figured I would let you know. It's just a new fun little thing I want to be doing because believe it or not, I do make mistakes when recording and I don't like say something I want to do it and then I say it again or like I forget what I was going to say or something and I just stop talking. I'm not gonna put in many of those bloopers because it's not as funny, but you know, just thought I'd mention it. But anywho, thank you so much for watching today's video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. It could be like on like the uh <clears throat> Okay, well I'm not gonna just just kidding, I'm not gonna skip until this place. Oh my god. And by that I mean it a a lot. <clears throat> okay, well I've kind of ran out of transition. As well as dripstone. Uh okay, that's not that's not okay, hang on. Let's okay. Thank you so oh my god.